Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So I've done quite a few projects lately and really been neglectful of sharpening my tools. So I got out my old jig and, and I got out my nice shaft and stones to just spend a day sharpening tools. And very quickly I got tired of moving one stone out and one stone in and one stone out and one stone in. So I decided to take time out and build a new sharpening station. So that's what you see here. These are Shapton stones. There's 1,000, 4,000, and 8,000 set up. I've got them in series, but stick around and I'll show you how I built it. It's only about a half a day project. So I'm pretty sure I want three quarter inch spacing in between the stones. Um, and I want three quarters on the outside and I'll put some runners in there to help hold the stones in place. And then I get my measurement and I know my top tray is going to be somewhere around 11 and a half, give or take. I also know that I want to raise this piece up a little bit. Um, I think this bench is just a little bit too low to, to work down here. So if it were up just a little bit. So I think I'm going to come up three inches. So time to go find some scrap and start ripping some lumber. Okay, this is just a leftover piece of cherry from the shaker table build. So this edge is already jointed and I got that nasty thing down there in the end. Um, but we'll cut that away. I don't care about sapwood. I don't care about any of that kind of crap in this. Um, this is just a, a shop project. So I'm going to get a couple of pieces out of that, this, and that should be everything we need for this project. So as long as I'm here ripping parts, I know those spacers in there are three quarter. And I also know I'm going to need a tray support, which will probably also be three-quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and rip the last piece of this stock down to three-quarter. Okay, so I'm set up here at the chop saw with my stop block set at 12 and a quarter. I know what my spacing is and I think I'm going to do sliding dovetails in the ends just to give this box a little rigidity. So I've set up the stop block, going to cut it at 12 and a quarter and I need two of these pieces. So now that I have the back pieces cut, I can get this measurement for here which comes out to about eight and a half. Um, but I'm going to double this plate over so that I can put it in my vise. And I'm just going to leave a little decorative end out here, which will make the sliding dovetails look a little nicer as well. So I know I'm now at ten and a half plus I think an inch and a half hang over there, which will make it twelve. And I think that'll look good. So now we need a couple of pieces at 12. Back to the chop saw. while I'm waiting for the box to cure up, I went ahead and took that other three inch cutoff piece that we had and I'm just going to make a tray for it. I picked out grain patterns that were, they were okay, it just chop scrap. So it's going to have to do. There we go. I'll give that 45 minutes to cure up or whatever it needs. Not much. I also went ahead and cut that three-quarter stock to fit the inside of the box. So once this gets a little closer, we'll go ahead and glue those in, then cut the tray to size, get it set. So we're, while we're waiting for everything to dry, I know this is the thickness of that tray material because that's an offcut from the same piece of wood. I have my three-quarter material, so I can set that in there 
And I know that I just want a small lip so the stone doesn't slide out, but I still want it above my surface. So that looks, that looks pretty good to my eye. So all I'm going to do is get that measurement. Whatever that number is, is irrelevant. Looks like one and three sixteenths. And I'm just going to start gluing these in, setting them up at that measurement, and getting them clamped in place. All right, all those strips are in. We're just going to let all that glue cure up for a while. Um, I'll take the opportunity to get some of this squeezed out out. Okay, I'm just going to use smoothing plane to take care of any little high spots that I might have. There's not much. All right, I'm just going to use my table saw sled to square up one side, and then I'll cut the other side to length. I'm just going to countersink and set a couple of screws just to hold it in place. I'll be able to remove it if I ever need to. I want to clean up the schmutz. So the last thing I put in tonight was actually just this back hook, which will either hook the edge of the bench or it will pop into my leg vise, uh, my clamps in the way, and allow me some stability there. So we're just going to let that sit for tonight. Tomorrow we'll come out and clean it up. I noticed this piece was just a little bit heavy, so we'll get that trued up in the morning and get a little finish on it, take her for a test run. Okay, I got it all out of clamps this morning. It's looking really good. I'm just gonna take some sandpaper and hand sand and just knock the edges off so I don't have anything sharp that catches my fingers. And then we'll get a little finish put on it. Probably just gonna put a couple of coats of armor seal on it. But I'll show you on the other side. Well, there it is guys, all finished up. Now able to put my stones in there and, and not have to change stones out all the time. Locks into my vise nicely. It's good and stable and small enough to store away when I'm not using it. So I hope you enjoyed this project guys. Until next time, take care.